one of the other ones is, is clarity. And, and that's kind of an area that, that I've personally struggled in um, because there's so much that we can do. There's so much oftentimes that we feel a responsibility to do. Uh, and there's a lot that we can do relatively well in our spaces of influence, but we can't be optimal if we're trying to do too much. We can't be optimal if we're trying to do too much. And I'm speaking to myself here as much as I'm sharing with you all because it's an area of challenge for me, but it's a fight that's worth fighting for all of us to get to a place of, of clarity around what is most important. My wife tells me all the time, everything can't be important to you when it comes to what you're doing. It all can't have the same level of importance. And I'm hearing that and getting a little better at trying to discern and to let go of things that may not necessarily be for me. And some of that is about being able to delegate in the coaching world specifically, how do you help those in your support group maybe take on some things that would give you room to take on other things? And it's a twofold kind of dynamic. If you can be clear on what are the most important things in your role, then perhaps you can hand off some other elements of your work that would free you up to be more energized and focused on those higher priority items. And at the same time, you're possibly developing that person who takes on these other tasks in a way that he or she can grow into a more effective leader. So it's kind of twofold, that delegation that's tied to clarity and focus. What are the important things and what are some of the other things in that second circle that perhaps I could pass off to others to help them develop and move forward?